Breaking news, uh, getting information now that the deadly plane crash at the Van Nuys Airport this morning. Let's listen in. Little Spanish needs. But at 10.37 a.m., the Los Angeles Fire Department received a 911 call from a civilian that reported what they thought was a helicopter crash here at Van Nuys Airport. When we arrived on scene, we actually have a small, a fixed wing, single engine airplane that had crashed. Now, fire crews quickly arrived because we're fortunate that right there is fire station 114 with constant staffing in this area. So it's about a quarter mile away. They had a one minute ETA once they gained permission to come across the airport to quickly arrive on scene here. Now, as that fire station was ringed down or notified of the emergency, they pull out of quarters in those large uh, aircraft rescue firefighting fluorescent rigs you see behind us. They could already see a loom up of smoke. They position themselves to the nose, the other uh, aircraft or the other apparatus rather position themselves to the side and they used our turrets on top to pour water and to create a foam blanket mixture because it was aviation gas that's very flammable. So they had a standard operating guidelines, they jumped into action very quickly, arrived on scene quickly. Now tragically the occupants, which were two adult males, were determined dead. This was a very high impact uh, crash that erupted into flames. So currently we're in a unified command. You see with us here today, we have Van Nuys Airport Operations. We have airport police that's assisting with securing the scene. We have LA World Airports that is here. Also LAPD and LA Coroner that will determine the death investigation. And then ultimately FAA and NTSB will be here for the investigation of the actual crash. Uh, so I'd like to now turn it over to my counterpart, that's Captain Carla Rodriguez. Uh, she's with the LA Airport Police to uh, tell their side. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Carla, K-A-R-L-A, -A, Rodriguez, R-O-D-R-I-G-U-E-Z. I'm a captain with Los Angeles Airport Police, and I'm here representing uh, Airport Police and also LAWA operations. So as my partner indicated, at 1037, this incident occurred. Uh, we happened to have a police officer that was standing just a few feet away when this occurred, so he was actually able to uh, hear and, and see the incident uh, right away. Unfortunately, not able to do anything because of the uh, flames of fire that occurred in instantly. Um, like indicated already, we already had officers on scene. LAFD took less than a minute to, to get there, and we had to secure the area. We did close um, runway 16 right temporarily. It was only for about 30 minutes. Um, and then we were able to reopen it again. And a 16 le uh, runway 16 left was able to remain open. Uh, there were no major impacts to the operations of Van Nuys Airport. Um, and, you know, at this point, we're just securing the scene, securing the incident, making sure that we have everything that is needed for the coroner, for the LAPD, and for NTSB to show up later on and do their investigation. And that's pretty much all of the updates that we have at this point. No, no further details. Thank you. Any particular questions? Yeah. Um, so that'll be part of the active investigation, a reference to the direction they were heading. However, they did have a very high impact, what was described as nose first um, into the ground. So um, tragically, that uh, likely quickly caused the death of both of the occupants. Any idea whether the plane was coming or going? Don't have that information at this time. And is it registered here, or was it stopped in the open field? That would be outside our purview to, to report. Yeah, um, I'm not going to be able to give you any identification about the air aircraft, but it is uh, confirmed that it's registered here in Van Nuys, so it is one of our uh, leaseholders. Actually, what he did is actually heard it before he actually saw it. So, unfortunately, he didn't see exactly how the aircraft ended up, um, you know, landing and crashing the way it did. But he was, like I said, it was in the nearby vicinity. So when he heard it, he turned around, and by then uh, it was like they said, high impact. So it just exploded immediately. Yeah. 
things. So we were told that this uh, fixed wing aircraft, which carries the fuel in the wings, had aviation gas, which is highly flammable. The quantity is yet to, to be determined. Um, but per protocol, we do use a foam blanket, again, off of the turrets that shoot off the top, and to completely cover, suppress, and uh, try to assure the chances of a reignition being minimal. So this is, I believe, the third crash that we've responded to on Van Nuys Airport this year, but the others were not fatalities. As a matter of fact, I don't believe there's been a fatality here on the airport in 20 years. We do occasionally respond to other uh, aircraft incidents on nearby streets, uh, but again, it's very fortunate that we have a fire station that's dedicated here to quickly get on scene of those uh, emergencies and provide immediate medical aid. Uh, tragically, today's emergency led in two deaths. That's all the information we have for you. Again, if anyone needs Spanish needs, we will go ahead and provide that. There was no other damage to any other aircraft here on scene at Van Nuys Airport.